Well, it is game on. And Van Gerwen is throwing first in our first semi-final. But for Ricardo Petrescu, you, you've just got to say, Mark, that he comes into this, I think he will have self-belief. He might be a little bit overawed by the opposition, first time he's ever played 100. MVG, but the tournament averages, there's a good five points between them in Ricardo's favour. That, I think, has to count for something. If he's aware of that, he's got to use that. 58. Yeah, everything that's going to make him feel better about the situation used, and Petrechko has been fantastic today, he's been fantastic for this year and the back end of last year he's, he's setting up a great career for himself here he's up into the well he's provisionally 61 in the world so he's coming to that two-year cycle where he's got to be the top 64 he's got 19. that box tick there's no danger of losing his talk out. i don't think that was ever in the in the equation but what it is doing he's going to be in the european championships the world championships minehead we're getting ahead of ourselves, but he's teeing himself up beautifully for next year. Remember, this is a rolling one-year order of merit that contributes to getting you in the match play, the Grand Prix, all the events, and they could have a, a potential superstar here on their hands in Germany because he's so composed, he's so likeable as well. Yeah, I mean, I had a quick word with him. I've never really engaged in a deep conversation with him before, but I had a quick chat with him just a, a few moments ago, or a few, a few minutes after his previous match, and... Yeah, he's very personable as well. He's got a nice personality about him. He's clearly a very measured individual. He's not getting carried away, I don't think, but I think deep down he'll be a little bit excited at what could happen this weekend. I don't necessarily think it's all about the start here as well, even if he does take out this 104, which he has, which is promising, it's encouraging. It's a break of throw on a 104 checkout. I was just going to make the point, even if he'd laboured in the early stages of this one, I wouldn't have been concerned because, as we saw in the previous match, he was 4-1 down against Stephen Bunting. Bunting looked to be in a great place, but he reeled off five without reply. And this is what he was good at. He was good at these two treble visits. And it's all about knitting that together once again. If he can do that, I think he's in great shape. Settling early against Michael Van Geeren is keen. He seems to have done that. I was going to say, we've, we've talked about Ricardo for most of that first day, but Michael Van Geeren likes putting players in their place. He's never played Petrechko before. And he'll be keen to do a job on him here. Michael, who's in a semi final and has been nowhere near his best, so you expect something to kick into gear. Slightly longer format reminder in the semi final as well. It's first of seven legs. And Gerwin finds the first max. Well, you look at Petrescu's weekend, we'll talk about Van Gerwen's progress in a moment, but yeah, people will look at the 107 average against Schindler and say that's the standout, but I think, I think it was the bunting performance because he was in a spot of bother. Wasn't playing badly, uh, but was 4-1 down, but to produce five on the spin against one of the informed players, I thought was telling. Yeah, and some of the key finishes in there, your awkward ones, your 64s, your 68s, your 60s, to wrap up the match as well. He just showed composure. But he may have not played Michael Van Gerwen before, but he'll obviously be well aware that even if he got 2 3 nil in front of Michael Van Gerwen, he, he's got those gears where he can rattle off legs in no time whatsoever. Quickly rectifies that break of throw and levels up the match. Yeah, one break apiece after a couple of legs. Michael Van Gerwen having to withstand a couple of matches that went the distance. Joe Cullen was perhaps his best performance so far. It was a tough assignment, that one, all about getting the win. Um, Clemens, I think, will still be thinking that he had his chances and should have perhaps beaten him, had a great chance to 60. go 5-3 up in that one. And he could, um, have, could have put the audience in a bit of a win-win situation well, in the semi-final yeah. then, couldn't he? But he had those key darts at double 10. Not at the end, uh, sort of to lead 5-3, didn't he? And then you felt it was always going to be difficult for him. So it's nicely set up for our first semi-final. The winner to face either Peter Wright or Luke Humphreys. Humphreys will go into that match as the favourite, but Peter Wright does have this European pedigree, albeit from a few years ago now. His uh, best year on the European Tour coming in 2017, so maybe you could argue his best days on the European Tour are behind it, but I thought encouraging signs from Peter Wright this evening. 98. And the, and the way he fought back. Yeah, he... I think there's a lot to like about the way Peter Wright's playing at the minute, and he'll be delighted. He's had to be patient this year. I think Michael Van Gerwen will be in the European Championships. He's going to finish third seed. So he knows he's going to play Madders Rasmus in the first round. He'd love to go there with his 37th European Tour title. 37. I mean, that's just... <laughs> just never lose sight of that. And 
Don't lose sight of what Ricardo Petresco is doing this weekend as well. 180 to get down to 82. Van Gerwen needs the big fish here, and he may well find it. Michael Van Gerwen just outside on 25. Yeah, hit it earlier on against Joe Cullen. Can't repeat the feat here. And are we heading for our third consecutive break? Well, it's double three. 76. Oh, maybe Michael, you that just derailed him. It didn't seem to take him out of his stride. But clearly wanted the 17. And Van Gerwen for the first hold. Yeah, maybe just a, a sign there that Petrescu is a little bit over exuberant right now. Might just need to rein it in a bit. But he's got another opportunity at double three. This is an awkward one, can be an awkward one. And that's the problem. Yeah. One double one. Penty to the left. Good. And he goes to the left hand side. It is a third consecutive break of throw. A couple of missed starts, missed the double for Michael Van Duren in that leg. Pietreczko leads again here. 18 dart break of throw to go with a 15 dart break. Either side of the 12 dart break by MVG. Pietreczko looking to join Max Hopp. 59. Nice. A German Euro Tour winner. Yeah, when he beat Michael Smith in that astonishing final in Saarbrücken. And again, yeah, semi-final, uncharted territory for Petrescu. So too this slightly extended format now. First to seven, as you say. First to eight in the final as well, if he gets there. Just to add to the demands that he's come up against this weekend. One from Michael. The yeah, if he won the event, he climbed to being seeded 14 at the European Championship finals. He's going there anyway, and that's an achievement in itself. 102. Yeah, eight and a half thousand pounds guaranteed for Petrescu, which is significant prize money for somebody who is relatively new to the scene 100 he's had a, a quarter final on the european tour before one or two deepish runs on the pro tour as well what he will get as well he's, he's off to ali pali isn't he and they, they, they get massive support the german players there they love the occasion coming over and we saw how they got behind the number one Gabriel Clemens in that fantastic run to the 60. semis last year. Michael, you require 84. Van Gerwen looking to level up again here. Gain yeah, brilliant. The nice and composed. And Michael Michael's average of above 99. He's playing better than Ricardo here. Just a few little mistakes. Mm. But again, he, he won't have been overly frustrated that he was trailing. And he knows 44. he's not playing his best. But Michael Van Gerwen was never at his best throughout the Premier League, but won it. He knows how to get get things done and win titles. Yeah, and that's a sign. That, that, that's a, a worrying sign for the other players, isn't it? When One MVG's not at full throttle, but still winning matches. As I said before, sometimes, you know, the great players in, in not just in darts, but in any sport, they, they find a way. When things aren't working out for them, they go to plan B, maybe plan C, and, and just dig themselves out of situations. Yeah, Petresco's made a couple of semi-finals on the Pro Tour, one at the end of last year and one this year. And there's another 180 for good measure as well. That's his second of the match. Michael Van Gerwen switching down the board early. Is this trend of breaks of throw going to continue here? And I'm not saying Petresco didn't believe he could win this match, because why wouldn't he be playing excellent? But at what point will he start thinking about it? Mm. When he gets to, if he can get to four legs, he's just crossing the halfway mark, maybe then. 40. Should lead again here. Well. Ricardo, you require 43. He was just told to uh, wait a moment or two there. I'm not quite sure why. 43, let's see. Shouldn't really derail him. He doesn't seem to be flustered too much. And yeah, back into his stride. And look at that, an 11 dart break of throw against Michael Van Gogh. Now, Petresco, I think it might be getting to the stage where he's thinking, well, OK, I've broken MVG three times already, but I'm only three to up. If you can find the hold here, I think this could be telling. That there, he's just took his time, hasn't he? Just trying to compose up. He knows he's been breaking, but not holding. And from 
the same angle, Michael Van Guren be like, right, okay, I'm getting broke, but I, I've been breaking back pretty comfortably. Well, who will blink first? That's the question. Who will land the all-important first hold of throw? Often it's the breaks that can prove decisive. This is a match where maybe, just maybe, the holds will prove just as important. 140. Is this his chance to give himself a bit of a cushion? 99. Van Gerwen got to these semi-finals with wins over Steve Lennon, Joe Cullen and Gabriel Clemens and he laboured against Steve Lennon, went to the side and leg against Joe Cullen and against Gabriel Clemens. He's been behind in this tournament in every round, so this isn't new territory to Michael. Yeah, and also, I've got to say, even if he did go 4-2 down, I don't think he'd be reaching for any panic buttons just yet. But the crowd will certainly raise the levels a degree or two, especially if this goes. Right. Well, he's not going to go, but I mean, if he um, it's sensible, sets it up. In the midst of all of it, he hasn't sort of taken his eyes for the prize. He knew what he wanted to do there, and are we about to witness our first holder for uh, what Michael Van Guren asked the question? He's waiting if there's any errors from Petrechko, but there's not been many, and there isn't one there. He's four from six on the doubles. He's four legs to two up on Michael Van Guren. And the crowd, you feel, are starting to believe. And why shouldn't they? Well, he's won the last two legs, throwing just 24 darts. Maybe a star is born this weekend in Hildesheim. Petrescu is giving that treble 20 bit a real hammering as well. Not necessarily the, with the 180s, but these two treble visits. It's been a real feature of his weekend so far. And he's brought that to the party tonight as well. Last two legs, 11 and 13, and the average up in the hundreds again. And we've seen that so much this weekend from Petrescu. Has always finished, but he's had a 45. two ton plus averages. But against Killington, it was up there, it came down a bit. He was the first round against Mansell, which is understandable. He was nervous because he knew he still needed that one win to confirm his spot at the European Championships, but he's relaxed since then. But Van Gerwen got himself a bit of breathing space in this leg. He will not go away, and he'll know as well. One break back, and he's favourite again because he won the bullseye in the back room. 140. Well, this looks as though it will be 4 3, but. 65. Michael Petrescu will not be too concerned because he's still leg. in a very, very strong Ryan position, Van but Van Gerwen likewise, not Eddie really. Leg, be panicking just yet. Sixty. There we are. Well, that's the first. That's the. I think that's the worst start he's had to a. The worst first three darts that he's had so far in this match. Certainly for the last four or five legs. One hundred and four. I'm giving all over it. Two treble visit. It's an intriguing tie. The other semi-final. A repeat of the World Grand Prix quarter-final from last week, which Peter had match darts to win. He takes on Luke Humphreys. 59. Really getting him embracing every dart the trash go throws. Thank you. Brilliant. Ah, oh, superb. I was going to say, looking to leave 170, but he's gone better than that, 134. His average now getting up to 102, and this is the best we've seen of Michael Van Gerwen so far 96. this weekend in, Hil in Hildesheim. Yeah, Van Gerwen will be quite happy being in this position, I think. 58. Let's go. Ricardo, you require 108. Who's had? Four turn plus finishes on 104, 103, 102. Similarly, you just need one treble to a single to a double. Not going to get it here. Yeah, needed that treble 17 to leave a shot at tops, but um, 
Well, he scored 34, so he's got 74 remaining. Just double checking, yeah, and he's done the right thing if you're not sure. Double check. I'm giving waiting on 76. 59. Michael, you've got four apiece. We haven't got much of a reaction from Michael yet. We may get one here. 56. Oh, he hasn't hit, so we're not going to get a reaction. So Petrechko to move two legs in front again. Big moment in the match here. And the crowd know it. 17, double 16 for 5 3. And it is 5 3. He's two legs away from a European Tour final. Survived a doubt of a double from Michael Van Goo in there. But back comes Van Goo, and he isn't going to go away. Well, double 16 in this match for Petrescu has really stood out for him. He just looks so sure-footed at times on his finishing, doesn't he? And I, I was just about to say, it might have given him fresh impetus moving forward, but shame about the final dart. Five perfect darts here for MVG. 140. Yeah, might be disappointed not to set up the nine darts, but... It's 1-8-1 one, one after six darts. And he's he will back himself. Well, he's getting chances against the darts, isn't he? And he will take one at some point if he keeps getting them. So Petrechko will know there's still a lot of work to be done here. It's only two legs, but when you're two legs away against the most successful player on the European tour, still plenty of work to do. Ton 40 to leave a ton 40 would be nice. 100. Well, that Michael could be that's as far as this leg is concerned. MVG should trim the arrears to 5 4. He's high with the last start. Van Goon will return. Needs to break the Petrechko throw. <laughs> 46. Mike, can you require 40? Coming across the double ten. He doesn't hit. And yes, Petrechko's getting a chance in the crowd at getting it. I'm trying to rally him, but he should have left this better. Yeah, only 46 on his previous visit. I was just going to say it's a, it's a good time to have a bad leg, but, it, you know, he could have been in position for another break here. One, three, four. You never know with Petrechko, especially now. Well, it's... Ten lucky, but Van Gerwen will be back. 118. Michael, you 5-4. He's missed three already for this leg. At that four. A little pause. If it wasn't right in his hand, he's done the right thing, but that looks awkward now. Very awkward. He's gone in the wrong bed. Petrechko is in dreamland here. Three darts for a 6-3 lead, a double break, and would throw for a place in the final. Wow, I just cannot believe what I've just seen. Michael Van Gerwen has just gifted Ricardo Petrescu the most unlikely break of throw, and it's a break of throw that leads Ricardo Petrescu one leg away from a place in the European Tour final here in Hildesheim at the German Darts Championship. His first semi-final, and it could well be his first final. He's throwing first as well. And Petrescu is in dreamland here. And he starts with a two-treble visit. Once again. This is incredible. Van Gerwen's got a call on everything now. Hasn't been at his best this weekend. May need to find his best to find four consecutive legs. But Petrechko ain't letting up. Look at this. Another two treble visit. I mean, it's astonishing how many times he's produced that at good times as well. And look at MVG, treble one, looks to recover. 83. 83 may not be enough. Wow. 240. We are witnessing something special, potentially something very wow. special indeed. And what could be a milestone weekend and a milestone occasion for Ricardo Petrescu. Once again, wow. Van Gerwen is straight out of the 20s. Ricardo He's playing himself in a position to win a European Tour title, to get a spot in the Grand Slam. It's been... Not just this game, it's been all weekend. It doesn't look like anything 60. flusters him. This will be a test, though. Maybe a last chance saloon for Michael Van Gerwen. Just double checking. 
Yeah, 66 away. Leaves it there. It may only be one there for Petrechko. But he's six out of eight on the doubles. He'll back himself to hit it for a place in the final. The crowd are on their feet in anticipation. Well, he needs to find a treble now. And he can't find oh. one. So he's not there yet. Van Gerwen gets some more darts. Well, I'll say three darts to get, recover one of those breaks of throw. Well, I cannot believe that Petrescu does not even have a dart at a double Gage there. The Treble one, single 15, Michael and you can hear a pin drop inside Halle 39 as Michael Van, Van Gogh steps in and just about keeps himself ticking over somehow. Errors are plenty there, both from MVG and then crucially Petrescu when he was looking to wrap up the match. And Van Gogh has the latest reprieve. Uh, Petrescu at six darts at 140. And didn't have a dart at double. 140. He'll go again. But Van Gerwen wins this leg, and all of a sudden this gets tense. 95. And they're feeling it, aren't they? Yeah. 125. Well. The scoring's there, but I think the big question now is about the big moments, the, the moments on the finishing for Petrescu. Still had the chance to tidy up after that treble one with the treble 15, couldn't find a way through. And he breathes again. And this is where the match could be won and lost. 44. Because Van Gerwen, like we said, has won 36 of these European Tour titles. You don't win them that amount of titles if you can't dig yourself out of a few holes. And so just double yeah. checking here, Van Gerwen. 164. Well, he went for the 25 to leave 36. And he's got to split 11 when he comes back. So it may get tricky, but if Petrechko doesn't apply a lot of pressure, Van Gerwen will feel. Pretty easy with the situation, but there's going to be a there's going to be some pressure. Michael, but this for eleven. six five. But Petrescu would throw for the match again if Van Gerwen wraps his eleven up, Gain and he has done. And now Petrescu will Michael throw Van for a Gerwen. second time, but under Twelve a lot more pressure Gerwen. than the previous one. He had a real cushion last time. He knows he drops throw here. Van Gerwen gets the darts in the decider. Off to a fly up, at least with the first top. 100. Just a ton. He would like to 140 there just to settle himself down. I think Van Gerwen will fancy his chances of making a, a bit of a move here. Yeah, ton 40 in response. So already a slender advantage on the Petrescu throw. Yeah, it wasn't a great lie the first half for Petrescu. Can he work with that one? 95. He's found a big treble with his first start in both visits, but not backed it up. Gerwin, loose. Ah, good last one. Needed it. Well, if Petrescu loses, uh, I think he'll he'll see that treble one in the back of his eyelids when he closes his eyes and goes to sleep tonight. But he may well salvage something here. That's better. Let's see what he was trying to do there. Sixty-one. Sloppy visit from MVG. Just opens things up a little bit more for Petrescu here. Eighty-three. He needed that one, and he's getting an opportunity at ninety-two. There's options with ninety-two because you can go the ball route, but look at this. One hundred. He'd have settled for that. Yeah, it's another opportunity. Nikai he made a mess of the eighty, Petrescu. He didn't get a dart and a double. The last time he had an opportunity to win the match. Is he aggressive, treble 20, or is it 25 or ball? That's a good guide. Oh, he's, oh, he's missed the big again. number again. I cannot believe it. Overcommitted for the treble 17, and that's the risk. And 77. He hit the ball. Michael, you require 76. Just for good measure. But it's all in vain, or it might all be in vain. MVG, double eight. Two Game darts in hand, on only leg. needs one. Michael and Petrescu's fingers are burned once again. Still no reaction from Michael Van Gerwen. Van it's been businesslike. And even at 6-3 down, a double break. He can never write this man off. Two key errors from Petrescu, though. The treble one 
and then hitting the single two when he was looking at the 17s to at least give himself the opportunity. He's going to go again here. And this time he finds a two treble visit. He's been getting the opportunities, he's just uncharacteristically of him this weekend. He's gone wayward. And... My word, did Van Gerwen we need that last hour? Oh, didn't he just? Although Petrescu has effectively stolen the darts in this leg. And he can take a firm grasp of them here with a 180. All about the timing, and the crowd find their voice again. They're leaping around like salmon inside Halle 39. It's incredible. We thought this was just going to, when it went 6 all, you felt it was Michael Van Gerwen's just to cruise through. It's not over yet, because Petrechko, this is the part of the legs he's been getting a bit wrong at the back end, but he's not letting up. Uh, potentially to even. Unbelievable to break the throw into the deciding leg. He's left 36 after nine darts to reach his first ever European Tour final. What a visit that was from Ricardo Petrescu. And after all the trials and tribulations, all the missed opportunities that he's had so far in this one to wrap it up, he could well steal it on the Van Gerwen throw with a 10 dart break. Double 18 for a passage into the final, and this time he takes it. And just look at the reaction from Ricardo Petrescu, the biggest win of his life. He's seen off the 36-time winner on the European Tour.